Hey guys, good morning. It's Dave Santorelli from BreakingChartAlerts.com, Stock Options Trading Academy, and Santorelli Trading Exchange. So guys, you guys know we've been talking about the stimulus for a few weeks, a few months now, really. Uh, but I think you guys remember what I was talking to you guys about, what was going to move when that stimulus got passed. And if you guys remember, please comment in the trade room now or on the chat here, uh, because this is what's really important, because you see what's happening. We were talking about it, and now what's happening? Carnival Cruise Line up 4%, right? We got the $1.9 trillion stimulus passed. Pay, uh, the, the checks are going to be rolling out next week. We got Carnival Cruise Line up about 4%. Take a look at Disney shares. Disney shares are another one that's moving big. Up about 3%, up almost $6, almost $196, almost new all-time highs again on Disney. So you guys take a look. You guys know our trade plan. We came down to the blue 20-day simple moving average as we've been doing. As we've been doing, coming down to that blue 20-day simple moving average, got a nice pop. We consolidated for a bit, came back down to that 20-day simple moving average. Now we're getting another climb. So tomorrow, confirmation, another green candle on Disney, especially if we break that 200. Even if we break that 200 today, I'll be adding probably another 10,000 to that Disney trade that we have for the long-term uh, July Expo. So that's looking really good there. Carnival Cruise Line's looking great. Uh, let's see. We have a trade on VZ, Verizon. Uh, that we just picked up when was it on i think it was on friday so vz is getting a nice climb as well getting up to that red 50-day simple moving average so zooming in here what do you guys notice on here and guys remember it's monday so give the markets 15 30 minutes here uh to decide what it wants to do and and what direction and the strength of the market that we're seeing so don't jump in too early yet but verizon for example take a look here So Verizon, notice this red 50-day simple moving average. This is the 50 SMA. Okay, so that's the 50-day SMA, this red line here, right? Notice how you haven't seen any red lines, or I'm sorry, you haven't seen any uh, candles above that red 50 until back here, right? That's been quite a bit of time here. That's going back to what, November? That's November. So we haven't seen that in quite some time. So Verizon right now is getting up to that red 50. We have a trade on Verizon. We have the March 19th. Let's see. We have the 56 strike call. <laughs> well, it's above our strike already. <clears throat> it's above 56. Now what I want to see is a green candle above that red 50-day simple moving average. That is where I will add another VZ trade. Add a VZ trade. Guys, good luck. Here comes the market open. It's 9.30. Nice pop here on the markets from the pullback that we've seen. Disney shares are rocketing higher, up over $7 right now, up almost 4%. Big climb on Disney. Let's see, what else is moving here? We got a big climb on United Airlines. Delta's starting to take off. Remember, we were talking about the airlines. We were talking about the cruise lines. We were talking about Disney. Now's the time, guys. You guys are seeing the uh, what's happening now in the markets. Let me get up my annotation here, get that off. Let's take a look at Disney. Disney shares rocking higher there, up $7.24. Big move higher there on Disney. Let's take a look here on the watch list here. What else is moving? Disney is still moving higher, looking good. Take a look at Disney one minute today chart. Looks like we want to get up to that 200 possibly today on Disney. We break that 200, I'm going to be adding another $10,000 onto that Disney trade that we have longer term. Let me get into there and see it. Get into the E-Trade on here. <clears throat> Disney break at above 197.50. Let's see what FedEx is doing here. We got a FedEx trade as well. FedEx shares on the rise, getting up to almost 260. Remember, we have the 260.750, 270 vertical spread on FedEx for the March 19th Expo. That was a paycheck trade that we made. I like the looks of that. That's looking good. Three-month daily chart on FedEx. We got our first candles above the SMAs. 
again, but we got a tight consolidation here on FedEx. So take a look at what we're looking at here, guys. All right, so FedEx, we got a tight consolidation. We could draw our consolidation box. So we have our consolidation. We're really just looking for a green candle above that consolidation and we'll make another uh, trade on FedEx. So we're looking for that green candle and this is where we will add to trade. Add to the trade or make a new trade going out for the uh, July Expo. So right now this is all consolidation right here, okay? So that's a big, it's just trading sideways. Why are you going to jump into a trade here and let theta time decay eat away at that option premium when you just have to wait for a break above that consolidation? You know, if you jump in too early, you know, and you're still in consolidation, you have to wait until she breaks out of consolidation. And take a look here. How long has she been in consolidation? Well, since February 5th. February 5th to March, what are we in now? March 8th? Consolidation, just sideways, flat. But we got that stimulus now. We're starting to climb. I like what we're seeing. And uh, we'll be watching here. Our Verizon trades in the green and climbing. VZ. Verizon's at the highs of the day here. There goes uh, Amazon. Amazon's continuing to climb. I'm watching that on the other chart. Big breakout on Verizon, guys. Our Verizon trades now up 3%, up 150 bucks for the day, continuing to climb. We got a nice breakout coming here. Hughes are still breaking down on today, one minute down about 2.14.71%. Watching those. Let's see what else we got moving here on the watch list. United Airlines, Southwest Airlines, AIG. Take a look what's moving over here now. Let me put up the other scanner here for you guys as well. All right, let's see here. There we go. You guys can see there's the watch list over here. Watching cues on this chart right here. Cues are just pulling back a bit. There's cues right here. Here's Verizon. Verizon was looking great, up about $180 on Verizon for today now. Verizon still climbing, making new highs here. Nice climb on Verizon. You guys can see right here. Here's the market movers list. So if you guys want, what you can do is take a look at some of these. Watch, I can link this with. Let's link one here. And we'll link this with link one. That way they're combined. Now watch, when I click on this, this chart down here is gonna change to that. So there you go there, nice move. Let me unlink this one down at the bottom here. Okay, there we go. There's IHT, let's move these ones on a, on a daily chart here, just get a quick look. GameStop back up at 152. She's still slowly climbing, but that one's going to get absolutely destroyed here. There goes Verizon, guys. Our Verizon trade's now up $300 for the day. We're now up 11% on Verizon. Now 13% gain on Verizon, up a little over 300 LAD, Lithia Motors. That's getting a nice pop, but still consolidating at that 20 Let's see, TPG Pace. Not doing too much, but it's on the uh, scanner there. Yang is looking pretty good here, guys. Look at this. Nice breakout momentum phase starting on Yang. Let's see, PSO, Pearson. Big breakout on Pearson. All righty, now let's go down here to link one, and let's see these ones. AMC is getting a nice move here today, guys. Really nice move on AMC. GE got a hell of a move there. Those of you that are still in those leaps we got on GE last year when the pandemic started, those are looking really great. Now 
Exxon Mobil still looking good. We got a nice gain in our main account here today, guys. Take a look. Got about a gain of 2,500 bucks in the main account here today. That's the one that we have. The This is the Delta spread here. That's the Delta spread, D-A-L spread. Remember, that's the uh, March 19th, 46, 47. Let's see, what is Delta at right now? D-A-L, 47, 20. So that's at max gains there. Let me just do it like this. It's a little easier, I think. So here's the trades. Here's that delta vertical spread, right? There's a delta vertical spread. Here's the Disney trade. We're up $1,150 on Disney today. You know, remember, I got a pretty decent size there. There's $10,000 on that trade now. You know, and I'm looking to add another ten thousand. So I got five contracts. I paid nineteen forty four, one thousand nine hundred and forty dollars a contract. I got five contracts. That's nearly ten thousand dollars. So I'm really watching Disney here. I think she's going to continue to break above that two hundred over the next week or so. And remember, remember what I always tell you guys. This is the most important thing about trading. Look at that time frame. That expo we have on Disney, July sixteenth, twenty twenty one. Always give yourself enough time until that expiration on these trades, guys. That's one thing I can't stress enough. You see all these other people here that are, you know, are, are making quick, but by the time you get in and out of them, you're already out of the trade. You know, you got to go with those longer term expos, especially when you see the market pullbacks here, anything happening, you got to go with those longer term expos when we're a little choppy and a little volatile in the markets. We got the stimulus pass now, so I think we're going to start looking good. Uh, vaccines are rolling out. I really think we're going to climb nicely this week here. We'll keep an eye on the markets. GameStop still climbing at 157 now. Watching that on the market movers list right up above. Uh, let me change this. You guys are still looking at screen one there. So here's the screen I was talking to you guys about. Here's the Delta 46, uh, 47 vertical spread for the March 19th. This was our paycheck trade. So as long as Delta is above 47 by March 19th, we'll have max gains on this trade there, which is really nice. It's only 25 contracts, so it's not much. We paid 3.84 minus 3.22. Uh, you know, I think that's like six, I, I'm not sure, 67 cents, something like that there. Um, Disney shares, this is what I was going over with you guys. You need enough time until that expiration. Absolutely need it. You know, you can't go away with a shorter term expo in these choppy volatile markets here. So that Disney July 16th, like I was saying, I got five contracts for 1940 each. That's about $10,000 trade there. I'm looking uh, to add to that Disney trade if we continue this breakout here. Verizon just came back. We're traced down to support at that yellow 10-day simple moving RBCN, average on a today one-minute chart. Robert and needs to break that 56.30 for that next run home. there. So again, Disney's looking really good. Plenty of time, July 16th until that expo. That's what's really important for you guys to understand. You gotta go with the enough time until expiration when you have these choppy markets. FedEx, here you go. Here's another vertical spread on FedEx. This is gonna be a big paycheck if we get that to go our way. So FedEx trade, we have max gains above 270 a share. We have 50 contracts of that. So that's gonna be quite a big payoff there. if We got FedEx above 270. All right, and uh, we're gonna watch the rest here. Visa is climbing nicely, up about a dollar fifty here, 068 percent. Continue to watch that. There goes Verizon, continuing to climb off that 10-day simple moving average on a today one-minute chart. Let's take a look at our market movers now. See what's going on here. See if we could possibly find another good uh, setup here. United Airlines, Delta, you know, Southwest. They're all continuing to break out here, guys. Take a look. You got Delta. You know, here's Delta over here down at the bottom. This is a nice thing. We can see Delta here. Here's a three-month daily chart you guys are seeing. We went to the watch list. Here's Delta on the watch list. And you guys could see she retraced down to that blue 20-day simple moving average. And now she's starting to get her confirmed climb off of that with our trade plan. And those of you guys that know our trade plan know how important it is. Those of you that don't know our trade plan, wait a sec. Let me get that uh, video for you guys, and I'm going to post it in the trade room right now. So you guys could, uh, let's see here. Library. Okay, your videos. 
I'm going to share that trade plan video in the trade room for you guys so you guys can take a look. Really important. Let's see. All righty. Alrighty guys, here is one of the trade plans. I'm posting this in the trade room for you guys. Take a look, that trade plan is so important. There's that trade plan, and I'm gonna give you one more video here for you guys to look at. Let's see. Here's the other one. There goes Visa there, Tyler. She's taking off. Alrighty, let's get on the watch list now. I just posted the two trade plan videos in the trade room for you guys. Those two are the most important videos. If you guys watch those videos, you'll be set. There goes Q's taking off. Uh, Dow's up about 230 points. NASDAQ's up about 40. S&P's up about 19. When I woke up this morning, I saw NASDAQ down about, you know, what was she down? About 140 points. I was like, oh boy, oh boy. I knew she was going to turn around though with the uh, with the stimulus being passed. There we go. We're back on the climb again, looking good. Let's see. Guys, we're up almost $5,000 today. What a day here. We were up 2500 before. Now take a look how much we're up now, guys. And this is just by following our trade plan. This is what's really important. There we go. We got our delta trade. Now, see, when they're shaded blue like this, that means they're fully in the money. So our delta spread now is fully in the money. Disney trade is in the money. We are up big on Disney. That Disney's not even showing my gains on here yet for today. So I'm up much more than $4,387. Because as you guys can see, our Disney trade's not showing anything right here right now. Uh, let me get the, uh, let me change the scenes there for you guys. So right now, you guys can see, we refresh the account here. We're up $4,387.50 in the main account here. Uh, our Delta vertical spread here, the 46, 47 vertical spreads at max net gains there. Delta's at 47.48 right now as I'm talking. So she's up 2.7%, a nice gain there on our, on our Delta trade. Only 25 contracts though, so it's only gonna be about a $1,000 gain. Uh, next one there, Disney looking great. We got a big Disney trade. She's still breaking out. Disney's at the highs, up seven bucks now, almost four percent for the day. Twitter's taking off here too as well, guys. Up two and a half percent. Now I want to watch our FedEx trade. Our FedEx trade's up nicely today, uh, but I want to see that continue to break out here. Here's FedEx chart. FedEx still breaking out nicely here, near the highs of the day here on FedEx, up one point two percent for the day. Here's a today one minute chart retracing down to that ten, breaking out down now. She breaks that 261 which is resistance on the day here we're going to see a continued breakout there and we might get up to about 265 today and then my goal is to see fedex at 275 or higher by the march 19th expo and remember on that trade right here we have the march 19th expo 267.50 270 i have a target of about 175 from now until march 19th i think we're going to hit that so that should be a good gain there 
We're up four hundred eighty-seven dollars on our Q calls that we picked up on Friday. We were down big on that this morning. Uh, Qs are continuing to take off here. Let me refresh that. See what we're up now. We were up forty-three eighty-seven fifty. Now we are up. Let's see. It's refreshing. <laughs> I wonder why that Disney trade hasn't updated yet. <clears throat> Still showing a zero there for the day's gain on Disney. There we go. We got a nice gain on our account. Now, we were up $4,387.50. Now, watching the market continue to climb here. Take a look what we're up now. About another $1,000 gain there in just that couple of minutes. Not even a couple of minutes since we were talking about it. Uh, 52.78 right now on... Five the main account here report being circulated uh, here we go continuing to climb now five thousand two hundred seventy eight dollars and zero cents and again that's following our trade plan delta trade max net gains disney trades in the green there we go we're up two thousand one hundred thirty seven dollars and fifty cents on disney today continuing to break there goes visa or i'm sorry verizon's on the climb there visa's on the climb there as well but verizon's on the climb coming off support at 55.90 a share our visa trade down here you guys HK, can see that's up 1550 dollars our trivago's up 700 bucks today our sundial oh, 225 225 cents, q's up 15 bucks Q is pulling back a little bit from the highs here. Dow is up 210 points, continuing to climb. Our FedEx trade is up about $600 for the day, up 46.25 on the long leg, down 4,000 on the short leg there. So $625 net gain on the FedEx vertical spread for today. Now let's take a look at the watch list here and see if we could find anything else breaking out or breaking down. Alrighty, let's change that to the top screen here. This is what I'm usually looking at when I'm showing you guys this bottom screen. So when I'm showing you guys this bottom screen, usually what I'm looking at here is this top screen that you're seeing right now. And that shows me all the market movers. That shows me my watch list. And like I said, when I'm going through these, what's nice is if I click on Facebook right here, it bam, it comes up right over here. If I click on Visa over here, it's going to come up right there. So I could quickly, I could even just drop my arrows down and quickly go through these and look at what's in breakout or breakdown momentum, see what's following my trade plan and uh, see what I could add, see what new trades I could make. Now, take a look there, guys. Visa's breaking out nicely. Take a look to the left here at Verizon. I keep saying Visa because I see the V there, and we've been trading Visa for so long. I never trade Verizon. But there we go. Verizon, new highs of the day on Verizon now, nearing that 56.30 a share. We're looking and waiting for it to break out of that resistance at 56.30 to have that continued climb there. We are now up $210 on our trade on Verizon in the Trade Challenge account, continuing to break out and break higher there. New highs of the day on Verizon. Alrighty, there goes uh, Disney. Disney's up $6.40 here. There goes Verizon, another nice climb. We're now up $300 on Verizon, up 13% on our VZ trade that we made on Friday. Looking good here, guys. I really like what we're seeing. Let's see what else is moving here. GameStop at 150. She pulled back a little bit from the highs. Here goes VZ again. Verizon's on the climb. They're in 56.40 a share right now. We're now up 18%. $400 gain on that trade. Let's see, Disney is up $6.40. There goes VZ. Wow, we're now up 19%. We're up 20% on our Verizon trade now, guys. Verizon's continuing to break out. Let's go down to the bottom uh, screen share here. Let's put in VZ right here so you guys can see it on the big screen. And we got VZ breaking out here nicely. She's coming off that uh, 55 support that we've been seeing here. She's starting to break out. Now, here's what's really important, guys. Take a look here at Verizon. So as you guys can see right here, was an area where she got up to that red 50 day right we got up to that red 50 day simple moving average this 50 sma it acted as resistance so again we came up here now what we have to watch is this going to break out there or is it going to act as resistance 
and then we are going lower again. So you have to watch right here at that red 50 day. If she breaks out of that red 50 day, let's say she gets up to 57. If you see, we're up $500 now on our Verizon trade, guys. We're up 23% on our VZ trade. Nice $500 gain there. 25% gain on our VZ trade now. Alrighty, getting back to it here now. Now, so again, like yeah, I, I said, if we're getting up to, she's now, still breaking out here. What a break. breakout, 56.50 a share on Verizon. Nice breakout there. So again, if she gets up to that red 50 and pulls back, that's what, first red candle below previous candle's body, that's where we take the profits, okay? So we're up $500 on that trade now, 25%, 26%. If we break out of that red 50, that's what I'm going to be adding to that trade and then looking for our next resistance. Well, you guys are going to ask, where is our next resistance, right? Well, let's take a look here and see where we can find that next resistance at. So let's clear this out. Let's zoom out here. So if you guys look, our next resistance is going to be around 57.50. So that's a nice dollar gain from where we're at now. Uh, I really think we could see that really quick. We have the VZ uh, March 19th Expo there. Love that setup. If we get another big breakout tomorrow on Verizon, I'm probably just going to lock in those profits, move on to that next trade there. We are looking good, though, on VZ. Let's see. what's did Disney's at new highs here. Up seven dollars and fifty cents there on Disney. We're up five thousand dollars in the main account there. That's being fueled by Disney mostly. Up twenty three hundred dollars for the day on Disney. Up fifteen hundred dollars on the day on V on uh, was it Visa there? Up a dollar sixty. Visa's up today. I'm That's nice. Amazon's Armando still says, continuing to climb. They're looking good. good for America. Uh, let's see what else do we got going on here. I'm waiting for BP and oil to continue to break out here. Let's take a look at BP for a sec. BP's got a, a nice breakout. She pulled back a little bit here, but I think we're going to see another breakout on BP coming. Let's see here. Watching Google continuing to climb here, guys. Thinking about doing something with uh, tech here. Look at Southwest is looking beautiful here, though. Southwest is having a nice breakout here, guys. Take a look at LUV. LUV is getting a nice climb off that blue 20-day simple moving average and getting a continued break out there. Looks really good. Let's go down the watch list more here, see what else we see moving. Do the screen share. HKIB halted again on a circuit breaker. Hotel Kilo India Bravo. LUV still breaking out there, guys. Let's see what the biggest option movers are. Remember, this is how we found that one trade. What was that one trade we just made like uh, 200, 300, 400% gain on that we found on our market movers? What was it? Rocket Mortgage, right? You guys remember we were looking at our market movers here and we saw a nice move on rocket. We jumped in. 
Locked in that nice gain. And what are our Rockets doing right now? RKT. That's going to be another good one to jump into. Look at the move on Rocket there, guys. You remember that? I mean, we literally jumped in. I, I It was literally, I think, on the uh, March 2nd we jumped in. Um, we ended up closing then at, what, 10.30 or 11. We were done live streaming. And then she just continued to run that entire day there. I closed her out, uh, I think, when she was around 41, 42 bucks here. That was a nice setup, though. Be nice to find another good setup like that this week. I think Disney is going to continue to run. I'm watching Disney closely. Airbnb up about 2%. Not too much moving just yet, guys. Let's see. Apple. AAPL. Let's take a look at Apple. What is Apple doing? Continuing to pull back there. I got a March 19th trade on, on Apple there. The 125s. Keep our eye on Apple today. Let's see what BP is doing here as well. Avilio, your Palantir is on the move, PLTR. There you go. They're talking about the airline stocks on CNBC right now. Take a look at that. PLTR is a big breakout. Also says that domestic airfare searches, online searches, of 58%. Wow, summer airfare is climbing 58%. Because it's up a substantial amount over the last six months. And by the way, Carl, Spirit is expecting a quick... There you go, Tyler. She's right back up there. Who said Dow was tanking? Kevin. Right back up there. I saw it. She's only up about 100 points. Back up 170 now. Mesa regional jets in demand for domestic travel. I like the numbers we're seeing. Economy is definitely picking up. Guys, there goes uh, Visa. Take a look at Visa again, continuing to break out here. V. Nice breakout on V. She was just at the highs of the day on that candle there. I'm looking for her to break 210 or 220. I'm sorry. We should see an easy break out of 220 this week on on Visa. Let's take a look at Apple there, Honka, and see what's going on with it. First off, let's take a look at our news on Apple. Let's see if there's any news on Apple. Okay, 
This is what's nice about E-Trade Pro. You got all these options here to look at all these amazing uh, data, research, tools, indicators, charts. You know, you got so many different things here, strategies you guys could analyze and backtest. So we go to calendar here, let's see, AAPL. Nothing in March, April, end of April, earnings coming up, April 28th on Apple. It's really about it. Don't know why Apple's pulling back there. Now let's take a look at the uh, research and analyst. So we will go to uh, analyst research and reports here. Click on that. Now we will look at Apple here and see what's going on with Apple. In terms of the sectors that are in the red, um, it is tech. Uh, it's also communication services and it's also energy stocks. Everything else uh, is in the green. We're now for the game this morning, less than I believe one percent from the record high for the Dow. Just speaking to uh, how much volatility we have seen more broadly in the last couple of weeks. So that's what they're predicting with Apple shares over the next couple of weeks. 175 is the high target, low is 80 bucks. Average target is 150. We're well below that right now. So, you know, if anything, what do we have? We have the March 19th Expo on Apple. So we do have to keep a close eye on that because she's not looking good for the March Expo. And we got a lot of buy recommendations, recent ones too, just on March 5th here. This guy's uh, five star here, 90% success rate with Apple. 175 target. So we just got to wait for that next breakout. Once we get that first candle above that yellow 10 day simple moving average, that's when we really got to be watching there and taking a look there at, um, at a possible re entry. Because take a look here. Next breakout above that yellow 10 day simple moving average on Apple on a three month daily chart here. That's when we want to be entering or adding to an Apple trade. Maybe even the June Expo, just like we have on Disney. June Expo should do really good on Apple. And if we do start to turn around on Apple, you're going to come see me make a larger ten to twenty thousand dollar trade on Apple in the main account there. Palantir is still on the climb. Still climbing nicely on Visa. Visa is looking good, consolidating a little bit. Someone asked me to take a look at Caterpillar. Caterpillar before. Uh, six month daily chart, Caterpillar looks pretty good there. She's got to break that 225 resistance for that next run up to 250. Uh, but she's looking pretty good there, not too bad. Subsidiary Hampton Products. Let's see, Delta uh, 4726. Looking good. Disney up about $5.20, up 2.73%. Let's see, Goldman Sachs is still moving higher here. Goldman Sachs is still running here, and that's looking pretty good. I think that's going to continue to run. We'll see a breakout above 340 on Goldman, I think, within the next week or so. Let's see. Ryan says, uh, no problem there, Robert. Ryan says, Dave, check out MMM, 3M. That's looking like a really nice breakout on 3M, guys. Let's see what the options look like. Guys, there goes Verizon again. Another big breakout on Verizon. Nice climb here. Dow's back up over 200 points. NASDAQ's still down, though, about 46 points on the day. Alrighty, 3M. Let's take a look at the option chain on 3M, see how that's looking. So we'll look at the option chain down here at 3M. Let me put this at the bottom and change this view here so you guys could see 3M chart here. So 3M's looking really good. Got some resistance right around Plug power, ticker 
So we got a little bit ways to climb here to get up to that resistance. So let's take a look at the And then what we're going to do, we're going to go back up to tools, get the calendar, bring the calendar down. Uh, let's put up 3M here. MMM. All right, now anything coming up this week for 3M or this month? Nothing. April. Okay. Earnings, end of April, April 26th. So keep that in mind now. April 26th, earnings. So that means we're probably going to want to go out to the April monthly expo, April 16th. That's not too bad there. HKID okay, so we could look at that. The 180 uh, strikes going for sorry, about $7.30. If we have resistance at about 187 there, you know. Immediately halted not too to much to do there. But in ticker we could look at a spread then instead. Or we could look at shorter term March 19th since we're in breakout momentum now and just look for that next green candle or two and then take quickly take profits in two or three days. So if we do that, you could even look here, even going with the, uh, even if you wanted to do this week, March 12th, the 180s are going for about $3.80. But there's a good chance that we could get back up to that 187 by Friday on 3M. So Ryan Welch, if you were looking and wanted a trade ID on 3M, what I'd personally be going with then is, let me lower this here. So what I would personally be going with then here is looking at that 3M, that 182.38 she's at right now. So you can pick up that 182.50. You got plenty of volume, open interest on that. It doesn't look too bad there. It looks pretty good. So you can pick up that 182.50 for $2.29 a contract. Your break even is going to be right around 185. And then at 187.50, you have a 100% gain. So if I were going to pick that up, I'd be looking at the 3M uh, March 12th, uh, 182.50 strike calls, and you can pick those up for around two, I'd say about 230 now or less. And if you wanted to get one contract, one contract is going to cost you $230. If you pick up 10 contracts, it's going to cost you $2,300. And like I said, your target's going to be that 187.50, so that's a 100% return. Your stop is going to be absolutely your first candle below the previous candle's body or 50% max stop loss, whatever comes first there. That's how you manage your trade there on 3M. Guys, Visa Trade is taking off nicely. We got a big gain on our Visa Trade. Let me refresh the main account there. Visa's at the highs of the day. Avilio, you're still in that Visa Trade with us, right? Wow, guys, look at how much we're up in the main account today. So before we were up $5,278 in the main account here. Now take a look and see what we're up here in the main account. Got a nice breakout happening. Wow, we still got another nice breakout here coming on V. Alrighty, so here's what we're doing right now. Here's the main account. We're up $6,000 for the day here in the main account. $6,037. Here's our Visa trade. Our Visa trade today is up $3,000, guys. Didn't we talk about this? Talk about that breakout. Now, I should have added to that Visa trade this morning. But still breaking out. We're up over $6,000 now on the day here. Our Delta trade, this is our Delta vertical spread. We have the Delta March 19th, 46, 47 vertical spread. It's looking great. That has max gains above $47 a share, right? And if we take a look here in the background, Delta is at 47.42. And if you take a look at the three month daily, she's climbing off that blue 20 day simple moving average following our trade plan really well. So now, our max gains on this trade is with Delta above $47 on March 19th. As long as she's above $47, we have max gain on that spread. What did we pay? $3.84 minus $3.22. That's what we paid. Max this spread could be worth is a dollar. 
Now our Disney trade here is up $1,425 for the day. And remember what I told you guys, what about our Disney trade? We got the July Expo, just like how they're, what did they just talk about on CNBC when we were just watching that? They said ticket sales are up 58% on all major airlines domestically, right? And they also said they're seeing a big increase in sales for the summer travel time. What does that mean? Well, where the hell do you think they're going? You know, they're not going up to, uh, you know, you know, they're not going up north. They're not going to colder weather after being in lockdown. They're going to be going somewhere nicer, somewhere like Disney's, the theme park. So that's why you're seeing retail. You know, the stimulus has passed. I didn't even get to talk about this yet today. But take a look. Retail stocks are surging higher today. You know, your credit card processes are surging higher. Visa's climbing. Disney's climbing. You know, FedEx is climbing. Your airlines are climbing. And these are all the stocks that we've been talking about jumping into. So continue to ride these out. We're up $6,037 on the day right now with that. We're looking great. And uh, I'm just going to continue to watch that and watch. Let's see Visa. I think Visa is still climbing here. Visa is at new highs of the day once again. Another nice break out there. Looking great, guys. So that's what I mean about that discipline and patience because it's extremely important to be watching and listening to the trade plan, guys. I posted the trade plan in the trade room for you guys. So those of you that are new, please, when we go to lunch here, watch that video because once you understand our trade plan, understand why we're getting into the trades we're getting into, why we're getting the expirations, the when we're getting the expirations we're getting, then that's gonna make more sense to you guys and uh, it'll be much more easier for you guys to follow along on all of our trades because you'll understand exactly what I'm saying then. Visa still continuing to break higher there in the background. As you can see, big breakout on Visa. She's now at 218.72. She might be going for that 220 today. Another nice run though on Visa and continuing to break higher now. 218.68 on Visa. There goes Verizon. Verizon's having another nice climb here. Another nice break on, on VZ. If I see Apple start... Guys, I want someone in here to start watching Apple. Because if Apple starts turning around and we get breakout momentum on Apple on a today one minute, I want to jump in and do a day trade on it or a possible swing trade. So make sure you're keeping an eye on Apple. There goes VZ taking off for a trade on VZ. Back up 300 bucks for the day. There goes Visa nearing 219 guys we were up six thousand thirty seven dollars here right now with that little candle that one candle right there take a look what we took that account from six thousand thirty seven up for the day now we are up and take a look how everything's starting to shade in we're starting to get in the money on all these trades here oh where did i put it here we go. Now we're up $6,800.50 for the day there. Continuing to break out. It's looking really good. There goes Visa. Another big breakout on Visa. Uh, continuing to break higher. 219 now. 218.99. And she's trying to break higher. What a breakout here, guys. We're looking really good. We are looking good, guys. Up about 6,800 here. Main account looking good. Now, like I said, let's continue to watch for another breakout this week. Dow's up almost 300 points right now, guys. I think we're going to continue to run it. I mean, we're only 45 minutes into the day. We're seeing the Dow up 300. NASDAQ's ready to turn green again. S&P's up about 18 points. And uh, we are looking good here. There goes Visa. Visa had another big breakout there, guys. Visa's at the highs of the day. Up now almost $4,000 on the day alone with just Visa. Looking good. OPGN, opt-in shares uh, popping to the highs of the day now. Oscar Papa Golf November. OPGN. 
option announcing publication of final study results of Univero HPN panel for diagnosis of uh, bacterial co-infection in ICU patients with COVID-19 pneumonia. That was press release from the company at 7.30. EH Echo Hotel report uh, being circulated from tech163.com. Ehang about to launch a long range smart electric aircraft with range of 400 kilometers. That's Echo Hotel, EH. Efren, this trade right here on Visa, the March 19th, 21750 call. Guess what? I just put an order in to sell it on that at 5.3. Let's see. She executed. We are out of that at 5.3. The reason being, I want to take those profits now. We had the March 19th expo on Visa. Okay, I just closed that out at $5.30 a contract. I wanted to exit out of that because we had a short-term expo on that. I want to add now, probably going to do a, a ten dollars to $20,000 trade now on Visa, going out a little bit longer to the uh, June or July expo. Angela, I like Visa here. Visa's looking really good, Angela. I'd be jumping in Visa or Disney. Disney's looking even better right now. I'd be jumping into Disney and looking for that June or July expiration here. So take a look. First off here, up $6,800. Okay, now, let's see. All right, so now getting back to that, here is the trade we just closed out, Efren. We closed out of the 20 contracts, Visa, March 19th to 17.50 call. We had a limit order in for 5.30. We were executed 5.30. And guess what? That was our 700th trade of, of uh, since we started the uh, trade challenge account there. Nice job. Visa is still breaking higher here, guys. So what I want to do here is look at three-month daily. Visa is in breakout momentum. I want to add another trade on Visa. Let's take a look here at the option chain. See what we could do here. Okay. So let's take a look. V. V. We'll pick up a call. I want to go out a little bit further here, maybe to the June. Oh, that's the June 2022. Okay, June 2021. We could pick up the 220 call going for about, wow, that's dirt cheap there, going for about $12. Okay, so we could pick up five contracts. It's going to be about a $6,000 trade here for now. Let's see, we could get in for about 12. Let's see if we get in for twelve fifty. It's going to be about six thousand two hundred and fifty-two dollars and fifty-seven cents. Place order. Uh, let's see if we were executed. It's an open order there. Still, oh, guys, FedEx is breaking out here. Big breakout on FedEx. I'll go up to two sixty there. Twelve sixty. Guys, FedEx is ripping higher here. There we go. She is executed, guys. We are in that. Let's see here. Uh, what would it be under here? Orders. Let's see here. Orders. Um, 
executed, and apply. LOK, Norton Life Block shares hitting 2126. Earlier report circulating. Alrighty, guys, here you go. McAfee here is what we just did. Norton Life Block and LOK shares up more than 5% now in NLOK. I made a larger trade on Visa, got the Visa June 18th, 220 call at 1260. I think Coca-Cola is garbage right now. There's so much other to be uh, interested in. New York City High School said to reopen on March 26th. March 26th. Wow, look at Visa continuing to break higher. There are new highs of the day on Visa, guys. Uh, Mayor de Blasio says we are bringing our schools back fully in September, period. Love that break. Uh, you guys see FedEx? FedEx is on the run there. Take a look at FedEx. Another nice run on FedEx right here. That's looking good. Let's see V. Here's Visa. Continuing to break higher there as well. RADA right announcing 50 million in new orders for January, February. That's for Romeo Alpha, Delta Alpha, RADA. Guys, our new Visa trade's already up a couple hundred bucks. Romeo Alpha, Delta Alpha. Wow, nice gain today. I'd love to see Trivago start to climb here. Let's see, Trivago, TRVG. Trivago just had that 1020 cross on a today one minute, three month daily. She's holding that 20 SMA. Want to see her break that 10. She breaks that 10, I'm gonna add probably another 5,000 shares to Trivago. I have 5,000 shares now in at $4.70. Probably add another uh, 5,000 with a break above, let's say around $4.20. Guys, Visa, huge breakout on Visa. She's nearing 221. 220, 41 a share now on Visa. We're up $147.43 on Visa, and we're just continuing to break higher here for the day. Looking good. FedEx trades looking great. Everything is looking good here. Let's We're see Apple here. I want to put Apple down at the bottom because if that starts to break out there on a today one minute, definitely want to see Apple. No one brought up Apple, huh, in the trade room? Nice job, Avilio. Avilio locked in 40% gains on the Visa trade. Nice job, buddy. Ephraim, that's that's a, a smart comment there. Uh, Ephraim, that wasn't trade challenge trade. That was the uh, main account there for the Visa, the new trade there. Wow, guys, you guys see Visa. Look at Visa taking off there again. Look at Visa, new highs of the day on Visa. What a breakout on Visa. Guys, we're up 4% on our Visa trade now, up $210 already on that new trade. Here's that new trade that we just got on Visa, right? Here it was right here, $5.30. We just got in, right? Or that's the sell to close, I'm sorry. 
the new trade you guys saw the new trade here it is now another nice breakout let me see what we're up on it now i mean we just made uh, how long ago did we make that new visa trade literally i don't know because i don't keep track of time but how long ago did we make that trade here it is right here we're already up 247 dollars and 43 cents you know there's a lot of people that would be happy just making 250 bucks a day you know i'm not one of those people but if you are you know you made that in less than an hour less than one hour work day you can't beat that there goes visa more new highs in the day on visa still climbing breaking higher I mean, look, just that one tiny little sliver of a candle there higher. We went from 247.43 up to now 310 profit. You know, up $309.93, up 5%. Now there's that little move higher now. And if we refresh, you're going to see that, what nice gain we uh, have there now. I mean, that just increases by another 30 bucks. There she goes, she's breaking higher again. Another nice run here on Visa. She's gonna continue to run there. I like that setup on our Visa trade. I mean, you guys are literally just sitting here. We're up 334. Now, if we refresh, we are up 360. She just keeps continuing to climb here, up 5.71%. $360 gain on that one visa trade already. You know? And that's for the June Expo. If we had a shorter term Expo there, that'd be on fire. Looking good though. Verizon trades up 421% gain on that. I'm watching Apple. I wanna see a reversal here on Apple. Not doing too much yet on Apple. Guys, what works best for you guys for the class this week? Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday night or Thursday night? There goes FedEx again. Another nice climb on FedEx shares. We are looking great here, guys. Nice run today. Karen says Wednesday. There goes another breakout on Visa, guys. New highs of the day on Visa again. There goes FedEx. A big breakout on FedEx here. Take a look at the top screen here. You guys can see here's a today one minute chart on FedEx. Here's a one minute chart on Visa. Another big breakout here. Guys, that Visa trade that we just made, right? What were we up? $359 on it? Take a look how much we're up on that Visa trade right now. The one that we just made. $460 profit on her right now. Up 7.3%. Up $459. And it's literally only been a couple of minutes since making that new uh, Visa trade that we just made. So we are looking great there. FedEx continuing to climb here. More new highs on this breakout momentum. There goes Visa. There goes FedEx. Another climb. Another run. We are looking good here, guys. Apple's starting to break out. Take a look there. There goes Apple, guys. If you guys are looking for a quick day trade or a swing trade, Apple's a mighty great setup right now. Continuing to run higher here. Uh, she breaks that one nineteen fifty. You're in. You're set. So this is what I'd be looking for if you wanted an Apple trade. Let's take a look. Option chain. All righty. Bring that down. Refresh that. All right, so looking at this, if you wanted to pick up an Apple trade, I'd be looking at an Apple. I'd be looking at this week's expo on Apple. The March 12th, I'd be looking at the, you know, you could look at the March 12th, the 119, or even the 120. 
I mean, the 119's cheap. Let's see what the 120. The 120, guys, that's dirt cheap here. You know? You guys can pick up the Apple 120 strike call for March 12th Expo at about $1.89, $1.90 a contract right now. That's really cheap. You can look for that for a quick swing. I'm not going to get into it. I'm already in Apple, but that looks pretty good there if you're looking for a quick day trade or swing trade setup. That's nice. That XL's having another nice run off the lows here. XL pulled back huge, guys. That was down to 950 a share this morning. She's back up to 1150 there. She just had a 30% climb from the lows there today on XL. Take a look at that if you guys wanted to uh, look at that for a day trade. Guys, the airline's continuing to break higher. I mean, we are looking phenomenal this week. Absolutely phenomenal. I love everything I'm seeing here. Ford's at the high of the day. There we go. Captain Thomas sold his March 19th visa for 54% profit. Nice job, Captain. Let's see. They're saying Disney's on the run. Let's take a look at Disney. Disney up $7.50 on the day right now. Looking good. HKIB holds it again, $8.10. So Tokyo, India, Bravo. Qs are continuing to run higher here. That's good. Looking good. Looking good. I know. Some of you guys in the trade room get me worried. Like, who was the, who was the member this morning? Dow's pulling back big. I look at the Dow and the markets, and I'm seeing, okay, the Dow's up 110 points. You know, yeah, we were up about 180 on the open, but... You know, saying that the Dow is crashing there, you know, you make me worry a bit. I quickly look at my screen. So, yeah, you got to be patient, disciplined, you know. I mean, the daily charts here are looking good there. Not on Apple, of course, but if you take a look on, like, Visa, for example, how she held that 20-day simple moving average for the past few days there. If you take a look at, you know, Delta Airlines, for example, DAL, another one that came back to that blue 20-day simple moving average and now testing and running higher here and looking good. Guys, there goes FedEx. FedEx is on the run. FDX. Oh, you guys are looking at the upper screen there. You guys are looking at this screen. Uh, there goes FDX. Let me put it in here. FDX is on the run. Looking good there. Another nice breakout on FedEx there. Looking good. There she goes, running higher. Visa's looking good. Visa's ready for that next run again. Treasury Secretary Yellen says pandemic has had extremely unfair impact on women's income. Wow, women what a breakout cities. here. We are continuing to break higher here. Nice climb there. Let's see. I'm looking at the uh, watch list here, seeing if I see anything else running. Tilray up almost 5% today, guys. I and mean, she had a big pullback, so that might be ripe for another little run there. Missouri GOP Senator Roy Blunt says he would not run for real election. We are looking good here. Guys. Biden to meet on Wednesday with CEOs of Merck and J&J &J at the White House. Let's see what J&J &J charts looking like. That's still climbing. She's been continually climbing off the lows there. What do you guys think about a swing trade on J&J &J here for maybe the March 19th Expo? That might not be a bad setup there. Quick little day trade on that. There goes Visa taking off here again, guys. Visa's on the run. Let's see. Nice climbs here. Loving what I'm seeing here. All right, those of you that are in the queue calls with me, I'm going to close out those queue calls right now at about $4.80 contract. 
4.80. I just got a few of those calls because I remember what I told you guys. I knew the market was going to get a pop here if we pass that stimulus. We pass that stimulus. Guess what? I just closed out those Q calls for a nice gain here. There was that Visa trade up $460. Now, if you guys take a look, I just closed out of that Q call for another nice profit. What the heck did I just do there? All right, there we go. So I just closed out of those Q calls here. The five contracts, Q's March 12th, 310 strike calls. Closed out of those, a limit uh, executed, 4.80 price of execution. And there we go, another trade. Locked in some nice profits there. Didn't send out an email alert on that one because Ephraim was out last week. So I sent out a text though. But anyway looking good there i'm thinking about doing a j and j trade a swing trade for the march 19th expo going into uh the afternoon hours here so in the afternoon if we make a trade i'm looking at j and j i'm looking at a few others here as well facebook's not doing a damn thing up 200 that's 264 dollars 35 cents up seven cents for the day down zero uh flat let's take a look here boeing's having another nice climb 228.72 up five dollars 42 cents 2.43 percent on the day uh, let's see what else is moving. Tesla up 2% on the day. You know, that's pretty much going to do it here for the morning session, guys. You know, Visa's getting another nice run. You know, I think easy 5750, possibly even a $60 target on our VZ for the March 19th Expo. Markets are looking good. Our trades are looking phenomenal. We're up over $8,000 today in the main account. And, uh, Pretty flat in the, the trade challenge account there. We're up $400 on the day on VC, down $330 on VP, and uh, then we still have that Apple trade that we're deciding what we want to do with. Uh, FedEx is looking good for the March 19th Expo, and our Delta trade is looking absolutely great. Max net gains, fully in the money on the Delta trade. So guys, that's going to do it for us this morning. Um, we're going to be having class on Wednesday or Thursday. I'm still getting some ideas from you guys what day is better. Uh, I have some family down here. They leave on Wednesday, so that's going to be great. Back to our classes on a weekly basis here and uh, analyzing the markets. I have another station set up here in the office as well where we're going to start analyzing our trades on a daily basis here as well. So if you guys want to come join us here on YouTube, you guys could go to BreakingChartAlerts.com. Uh, you guys could click on the Join Now Membership Pricing Plans here, www.BreakingChartAlerts.com. And if you guys want to sign up for Elite Pro Trader here, all you have to do to save 30% off of that 2500 is type in challenge, capital letters, and then click I sign up and upgrade. Media at the and instead of 2500 it'll Michael. only be $1,750 for you. And you guys could enter your information there. And then once you guys get signed up, if you want to join us now, from now until 2.30, we'll be in the live trade room here. And then the education section, I'm continuing to build that out now. I've been making some classes here, uh, you know, on the side here when I'm off. So I got a couple more classes and lessons that I'm going to be uploading here. But go to classes. These are the longer 45-minute to two-hour classes. The lesson libraries are quick 10 to 15-minute lessons uh, to help you guys get started. And if you want to come join us in the trade room, there you go. If you want to see our trades, go to Trade Alerts right here. And you guys could scroll down and see all of our trade alerts, uh, what we're in at. Let me see here. Did I click on it before? These are starting to climb here again. I'm watching that XL. FedEx is coming off that 259. I'm watching that break higher here. So here is the new trade we just made today on Visa, for example. So if you click on that. You guys can see then all the details. We have our the current price, where we got in, our stop, our targets, and everything like that here. So looking really good here. Um, and I'm watching for that continued breakout. So, And you guys could see if you guys want to have questions on any of the trades, 
type something down here. Say, hey, uh, you know, what are we looking at target wise or target number two here? You guys could click that and then one of us could come here right back and uh, you'll get a notification just like Facebook when someone responds to any of your questions on any of our trades. So if you guys go to the trade section, click trade alerts, you guys could see any one of our trades here. And then the nice thing about it, you guys could go here and go and type your questions on any one of our charts or trades and we could comment back and communicate through that. And like I said, otherwise, you guys could go to the classes, lessons, the trade challenge account here, uh, and everything else here. So here is where our newsletters are every morning and whatnot. So again, if you guys wanna come join us, go to the Join Now membership pricing plans, click on that, and then if you guys want to have everything, access to everything, you guys could sign up for the yearly membership. This is for people that really need to learn, uh, get a good grasp on options, trading, live classes, the one-on-one -on -one classes, the uh, morning session, the afternoon session. That's all included. And like I said, you could use promo code CHALLENGE. That'll save you 30% off. All you have to do is type in CHALLENGE up top, click sign up, and instead of $2,500, it'll be $1,750. And then the trader membership, that's for the live morning trading only. And the Pro Trader includes live morning, live afternoon, and then the Elite Pro includes all the classes, all the lessons, uh, the text alerts app, and everything else with it. So up to you guys, there's a, a plan for everyone. And if you guys have questions, you guys could come down here, look at our features, what's gonna be offered. Uh, you guys could check us out, what our members are saying, check us out on Instagram. And then of course, if you have any questions down here in the bottom, log into Messenger, shoot us a message, and we'd be glad to respond back to you. Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it for us this morning. Our Visa trade is continuing to break higher here. If you take Visa, getting another nice climb here, looking good. And that'll be doing it for us uh, this morning, guys. Nice morning here. We're up over $8,000 in the main account. Uh, trade challenge account here is pretty flat because we're waiting for BP to take off. Apple, uh, that Verizon, though, is having us up nicely here uh, as well. So... Again, airlines looking good. Disney's looking great. I expect those Visa to continue to break out here. What else I want to look at this week is retail stocks like Under Armour and whatnot. So if you guys see at the top here, you know, look at Under Armour right here. Under Armour is getting a nice run up. Nine, it's at nineteen dollars thirty-eight cents, up sixty-four cents, three point four two percent for the day. I like that. Here's Under Armour over here on a daily on a today chart. And that looks ready for a big breakout. So I'm probably going to be making another trade on Under Armour here because we closed out a nice gain on that last week. Want to make another one on it. Here's FedEx breaking up above here at that 259 support. Now getting back up to that 260, breaking that 260. She breaks that 261. We're going to see her at that 265 by this week, possibly even by 270 this week. And that vertical spread we have on FedEx is a bigger one. It's a 50 contract trade. So that's a big trade there, and we're looking for that to continue to break higher and have some really nice gains on that. Under Armour is still running higher, guys. That's going to be another one that you want to look at possibly for this afternoon. Under Armour is looking good. Tilray up over 5% now for the day. That's continuing to break down. That's another nice day trade setup. And uh, we're starting to see BP come back here a little bit. So that's exciting. And uh, anything else here? That Embraer is looking good. I wanted to jump in and bear myself. Let's see, RH Visa running. Love this. Looking good. Look at Delta nearing 47.68 a share. Bank of America continued to run. JP Morgan running higher. Twitter up. Disney up seven bucks still. That's holding. That's looking good. I think we're gonna see Disney at 200 this week. So if you guys wanted to pick up some regular Disney calls for this week's expo, you guys could take a look at that option chain here. Type in Disney, D-I-S, and look at that March 12th. You have that 197.50, even the 195. 197.50 is going for about $3.17 a contract. So your break even is gonna be above 200 bucks a share there, but easily could do that. Disney, let's see, what is our estimate on Disney? Three month daily, six month daily. Uh, you know, I mean, I really think we're gonna see that at 210 or higher. That was my initial. I don't, I don't know if she's gonna get there this week, but by March 19th, I think we could see Disney at 210 or higher. So that's what we'll be watching for, guys. Uh, looking good this week. Okay. 
and uh, we will be live again in the afternoon. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you go to our website, check us out, ask us any questions you have, and uh, join us in the trade room, live trade room, and I'd be happy to answer any questions in there once you guys join us. Alrighty, guys, take care. Hope everyone has a great day, and uh, it really looks like we're back off to a great week this week. Alrighty, guys, take care. God bless, and have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.